All right, we're up to the New Testament. Remember, now we're learning about... Who did we learn about last week? Who remembers? Mark. Mark, no. We learned about John the Baptist. Remember? Malachi and Matthew. John the Baptist was the one that was pointing to Jesus. So he was uh, born before Jesus, six months before. But today we're learning about the birth of Jesus. So this is the fulfillment... Remember, we went, when we went through all the old prophets and the new prophets, they were talking about, hey, a saviour is going to come, a messiah is going to come. And now we get to the New Testament. Now we read about the fulfilment of this prophecy where Jesus is actually born. And the Bible says, hey, this day, thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And we learn about the story about how Jesus was begotten of the Holy Ghost. So how does it all start? Well, in Luke 1, and we'll jump between Luke and Matthew. So you know there's Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Those are the four Gospels. So we read about the birth of Jesus in two of the Gospels. Matthew and Luke. All right. So this story is in Luke chapter 1, when the angel Gabriel comes to Mary and tells her, and this is already after, you know, Elizabeth, who is John the Baptist's mom, knew that she was pregnant with John the Baptist. So, what happens is the angel Gabriel, if you know the story, I don't know, who knows the story? Ah, oh, you already know the story. Well, I'm going, to, I'm going to tell it to you again. Hopefully you learn something new. Angel Gabriel comes to Mary and tells her, hey, you're going to have a baby. And she says, how will I have a baby? When I, I've never, I'm not, I mean, I'm not, I've never slept with anybody. You know, I've, known, I've never known a man. And then he tells her that, hey, the Holy Ghost is going to overshadow you. And that's why that thing inside you is going to be called the Son of God. That's why we call Jesus the Son of God, because he had no earthly father. His father was actually the Spirit of God, our Heavenly Father. So after this, she goes and stays with her cousin Elizabeth, who was pregnant at the time with John the Baptist. Yes, Mateo, you want to ask a question? No, they don't. I don't believe they do. So angels don't have wings. Angels always look like men. So that's why this is a, probably an accurate picture of an angel. It doesn't have wings. Well, why people think angels have wings is because they think the seraphims and the cherubims who do have wings, they're creatures in heaven as well. And they think that they are angels, whereas I don't believe they are. I think angels... Seraphim and cherubim are different creatures. So this is the angel that's come to Mary. Tell her, hey, she's going to have a baby. That's what he says. And he says, and behold, in Luke 1.31, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shalt call his name Jesus. So you see Mary, she didn't think of the name. You know, today when we have children, we think of the name. We think either your mom or your dad thought, this is what I'm going to name you. Whereas Mary, when it came to Jesus, she didn't name Jesus. The angel told Mary, hey, this is what you're going to call him. And she obeyed that because his name was called Jesus. So three months pass and she was espoused to a man called Joseph. And Joseph finds out that she's pregnant and they haven't slept together. So he's thinking, hey, maybe she committed adultery. So he was thinking of actually divorcing her, putting her away because he found out that she was pregnant with the Lord Jesus, or with a baby. He didn't know at the time that it was the Lord Jesus. So what happens? In a dream, an angel comes to him and says, don't worry, Joseph. You know, don't worry that this, your, uh, your espoused wife is with baby, because that thing which is born of her is of the Holy Ghost. All right, so he's telling her, hey, this baby that's going to be born of Jesus is actually the Lord, uh, born of Mary, is the Lord Jesus Christ. So this is what the angel tells Joseph in Matthew 1, 23. It says, Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. This is what we read in Matthew 1, and that's how Joseph finds out about who this baby is. It's a fulfillment of this prophecy. So he takes Mary to be his wife, but 
they don't sleep together. Right? So until Jesus is born, they live together, but they don't sleep with one another. Now in Luke chapter 2, there is a taxing that happens. So Joseph and Mary have to pack up everything and they have to go and travel into Bethlehem in order to get tax from the government. So they travel and at this time Mary is very pregnant with the Lord Jesus Christ. And they reach Bethlehem and you know the story, they were looking for a room but there was no room in the inn. So they had to go into the stable. And that's where the Lord Jesus Christ was born. He was born in a stable. They wrapped him in swaddling clothes. You know, when you wrap a baby in the cloths. And they laid him in a manger. And this is when we learn about the shepherds. Because when they were in Bethlehem, there were shepherds out keeping their sheep. Right? Their flock by night. And then what happens to the shepherds? Do you remember the story? An angel comes to them and says, Hey, in this day there's born in this city a king, which is Christ the Lord. And he says, Hey, you're going to see him. This is what the angel says to them, Luke 2.11, For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, which is Christ the Lord. Why don't we read this one together? Ready? Luke chapter 2 verse 11 for unto you is born this day in the city of david a savior which is christ the lord so they came and they saw the baby wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in a manger just like the angel had told them now a bit of time passes and now you have the wise men coming from the east. They see the star from the east and they want to go and find Jesus. And they go to King Herod and Herod says to them, Hey, when you find the baby, you know, bring me word again. I want to worship him too. But Herod was trying to trick them, right? Because Herod wanted this new king to be killed. So they go and look for the baby Jesus following the star. So they were happy that the star appeared again, that they'd followed and came over from the east. And the star came over and stood over the house where Jesus Christ was. And they know where to look because the prophets, uh, the scribes had told them, hey, that he was going to be born in Bethlehem. So they followed this star and they come into the house where Jesus is. So this is the wise men coming over in Matthew 2.2. 2 saying, Where is he that is born King of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and I come to worship him. So they come, they, rep they present gold, frankincense, and myrrh to the Lord Jesus Christ as he's staying in the house. But as they slept, right, the wise men were told not to return back to Herod, because God told them about how Herod wanted to kill Jesus. So they ended up, this is King Herod here, you know, with his evil plans. So when they departed, they didn't go back to Herod. They went another way. And the story continues that Joseph and Mary, when they awoke, they had to flee into Egypt and they didn't return back until King Herod had died. So this is the story about Jesus coming and being born. And why is it significant? because it's the fulfillment of the prophecy that Jesus would come, God in the flesh, to die for our sins. So he would grow up, he would go on to live a sinless life for 33 years. He taught many people, healed many things, healed many people. We're going to learn about some of these stories over the next couple of weeks. You can learn more about the life of Jesus. But one of the main reasons why Jesus came, why God came, took on flesh, was born of a virgin, the Virgin Mary, why? To die on the cross for our sins, to die for you and for me. And all we have to do, kids, all we have to do is we have to just put our faith on the Lord Jesus Christ. We can't work our way to heaven. We just call out to God and put our faith on Him and He will save us. Okay, I hope you learned something new out of the story about the birth of Jesus. All right, today we're going to have some more games. We wanted to do a craft, but our printer broke <laughs> so we can can print some things so let's go over here 
I've got some games. I've got a new one for you guys today as well. So we'll try a new one. So let's go over there. We'll split us up into teams and we'll play some games.